Wendy wants more. Well, hapon na dito sa Adelaide. Nasundo ko na kasi si Aliyah Smith. Aliyah, how's your first day of school? Good. Good. Okay. It's always good. Good na lang. It's not bad. So for today's vlog, mga zoobs, I'm using still the Osmo Pocket 3. But Andy wants more. Tama ba? Yes. Gotta go for more. So for this vlog guys, uh, susubukan namin kasing i-trade in yung old camera niya into Osmo Action. Tama pa ba? Yeah, my lens. I'm gonna try uh -oh. my lens. So nakausap niya na before dito sa store. So dala-dala na namin. And we are now on the way going to the mall with Chacha. <laughs> So, ayan. Habang alagaan niyo yung mga bata sa mga kami editing ng camera. And if I have time, baka magpa-nails ako. Kasi yung nails ko sobrang na siyang haba and dirty. Kaya, wish me luck. Let's go. Guys, just made it to Kanoog. We dropped off Lele dancing, but Mimi wants ice cream. ice cream and chicken nuggets. So, make sure there's no cut. Gundi outfit, my memes. Let's go. Happy, oh. Kapunta. She knows how to smile. Ice cream. We're gonna look for ice cream, guys. In the playground. In the playground. Oh, where are we, memes? You knock. Alright, let's hear it all us. Wait, mom. Let's eat. What's up mga zoob? So I just got here to the gym. It's almost 10 p.m. So it's a little bit late. But the reason why we're a little bit late, well the reason why I'm a little bit late is because we stayed at Ola's. I didn't show much. I showed some food and stuff. But we stayed there. We hung out. The kids were loving it. They were playing. They were in the backyard having some fun. So to be honest, they didn't want to leave. But I said to Diana, it's getting a little bit late and we need to get to the gym. And also we caught up with Sammy because she just got back from Melbourne. So, yeah, but the good news is we just picked up an Osmo Action 4. So you might be wondering why we have an Osmo Action 4 and what I'm shooting on now is the Osmo Pocket 3. So the reason why we have two cameras is because, as you know, most of the time me and Diana don't spend the day together. So especially when we're going to the gym, she goes to the gym separately. I play with the kids in the park or whatever. We go out for some coffee and ice cream and then we switch so we usually have two hours and then she has two hours to herself so we need two different cams but they also serve different purposes the osmo pocket 3 it has a gimbal and the footage is a lot steadier for the most part and it's better in low light it's got a one inch sensor so it lets in more light and it's also uh, the clarity of the video is a lot higher so 
we just thought this is a perfect vlogging camera it also makes the uh, background a little bit blurry as well so it separates the background from the person which is a really nice thing when you're vlogging and it's also a little bit incognito when you're shooting in uh, crowds because what we notice is when we shoot with a phone we tend to sometimes get a lot of stares and uh, you know sometimes people feel a bit uncomfortable but with the Osmo Pocket because it's very small it's not seen as much so that was one of the advantages we saw for it and also especially in the low light situations uh, where the iPhone 15 would bounce a little bit maybe you don't notice it watching the vlogs but we notice it a lot when we're walking at night and the camera you can see the footage just jiggling a little bit each step whereas with the Osmo Pocket 3 it doesn't do that the Action 4 is not that great in low light, but what it is, it's very, very sturdy. Uh, it's weather sealed, so we can take it out in the rain, we can bring it to the pool, the kids can use it, it can be thrown around a little bit, uh, not thrown around, but you know what I mean, it, it can be dropped and, you know, you, you could just be a little bit rougher with it. And I think that is a good camera to have. And now that we have two, it's just very compact in my bag, which is nice, so... We're really excited. I'm going to unbox it later. Um, and for the most part, I'll be shooting on the Pocket 3. And for the most part, I think Diana will be shooting on the Action 4. So and definitely if the kids have it, it'll be the Action 4. So the sensor is a little bit smaller than the Action 4. But I'm guessing during the day, it's still pretty competitive against this one. And the stabilization is quite good also. Um, it's not a gimbal. It's stabilized within the shot. So, yeah, uh, very excited to use the cameras. And we hope that you guys see an improvement. And we will try our best to work on the audio as well because we will try to start using the mics as much as we can so that things can come across better to you guys. But anyway, enough talking. I need to get into the gym. I'm pumped and I'm ready to go for shoulder day. Alrighty guys, so we have here the Osmo Action 4. So I picked this up today. We're really excited about this new buy. So this is the second upgrade. And this time I'm actually using the DJI Mic 2. So hopefully the sound and the audio is a little bit better. So let's open it up. Alright, so we'll check this one first. So this is the, you can see it, accessories. So we got here the housing case. So no need to open up, it's just a housing case probably with the mounts also. Then of course we have the charging cord Then we have the Action 4. Yeah, wow, so we have the Action 4. So guys, we now have two cameras. We have the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, and now we have the DJI Action 4. And it actually feels really good in the hands. It's got a little bit of weight. It does feel like, quite sturdy it's nice uh, it's heavier than I thought it would be and then you got here the front screen and you got your back screen here and it's really well set up uh, because I guess when it's someone who's using this who doesn't know much about cameras well they can just click this on and shoot right away and so yeah it's very small as you can see it fits in the palm of my hand so yeah, like I said, uh, I talked about it in the car. We have these two cameras for different purposes. This one will be more for, you know, swimming and doing some action-based stuff. As I mentioned before, the Osmo Pocket 3 is not a weather-sealed system, whereas this one is. So we can take this in the rain, if it's cold, if it's snow, if we're in Japan, one day again, this is the camera we'll be bringing around with us. And also, uh, Unlike the Osmo Pocket 3, the Osmo Pocket 3, you have a blurry background, whereas this one will keep all of the background and the subject in focus. So that's a bonus to have. Along with that, 
I picked up the mini extension rod. I didn't get the adventure pack because the rod that it comes with is a one meter 50 and it doesn't do what this can do. So I'll show you what I mean. Alrighty guys, so this is the mini extension rod. And what I was saying before, uh, you can get the adventure pack, which comes with obviously the action four, the magnetic clip, which I really like. And it also came with a rod. I think the advantage was that it had the three batteries with that. I don't know if that's gonna be a problem or not, but I guess I can purchase that in the future. It also came with the regular stuff, the housing kit. But it was, like I said, one meter 50, but it didn't have this the legs that sprout out like a tripod. So it was a one meter 50 rod, but it was good just to shoot things up high, long distance selfie. Um, not something that I would do in my shooting. So I wanted something that can fit directly into my hands, which as you can see, if I click it all together, it clips on and then there, it's just a very small setup beautiful for taking you know to the gym to the mall wherever you want to shoot and keep it minimal so this is 43 centimeters it extends out to so now you can see here so can still keep it on the screen but yeah really nice really compact and that's what we want from all of our shooting gear for now so yeah this is upgrade number two hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you will enjoy our new footage with our vlogs. And please comment below if you are a DJI user, please give us some tips or any accessories that we can buy that would enhance the shootability. I don't even know if that's a word, but if there's any other accessories that we can buy to make shooting easier and more fun and more interactive and more enjoyable for you guys, just let us know in the comments. So thank you for watching the vlog tonight, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.